It's a bowl of questions. It's Sonic Confessions. Would you, uh, Tom, would you rather spend a week in jail or serve two years of community service? Uh, I'd, I'd do the community service. You'd do two years of community service? Yeah, because you're doing something good for the community, Going which I do there. anyway. I, I wonder if you can preemptively do community service. Like if you're already, if you're already uh, you know, donating your time to the community and then you get popped with you know something like you're wandering around. I don't think it works like that, Rick. Rick, who was your worst boss? That would be Tom. There was, <laughs> there was one uh, summer where we worked at a, at a print shop. Tom was my boss. He got me the job and I'm really thankful for that because I really needed the money, but... Uh, I was too strict, huh? Yeah, well, I actually needed this, you know, I, I, I say it was you were the worst, but you're actually the, the you helped me get my act together and at the time I, I didn't like it but now I really appreciate it I'm a better human being thank you Tom what's your personal hell Zach okay so I saw this thing on Facebook and it was an exercise class with a bunch of people who had like drumsticks they would do the drumsticks to the beat and they would kind of incorporate the drumsticks in the exercising like if I was forced to like sit and like watch that that would be my personal hell my personal hell is Ikea. I'm excited about it for a minute, but then it exponentially gets worse and worse and worse the longer I'm in there until it just, you know. But what about the meatballs? Those meatballs are good. Well, that's not technically. The, the gift shop and the and the sweets is not really Ikea. It's when you, you can't, that, can't get there without uh, going like through the Ikea. Vegas, the Vegas can't leave kind of your trap, must buy a for Erdenstrud. Favorite dirty joke. I got one. A woman walks into a bar and asks the bartender for a double entendre. So he gave it to her. That's a good one. Tom, have you ever been escorted out by security? <laughs> yeah, a couple times. <laughs> what happened? Just the first one that comes to mind is I was at a Less Than Jake concert a long time ago. Are you a CC? <laughs> what did you do? And I just started doing the lights for some reason. <laughs> like, I don't know what I was doing. I was, it was like all stroby, and then some guy came up and said, Who are you? You work for the band? And I was like, no. <laughs> that is a story we did not previously know. That I'm so glad I asked Tom that question. So what? what's the other time? Uh, Lollapalooza. I think the second Lollapalooza, I hopped over the fence into the to the first row. And just like thousands of kids ran. And like, of course, I'm like the only one who gets caught. <laughs> took me in the back and took a Polaroid picture of me. I'm never allowed back at that place again but we're playing was, there yeah what's funny is we're playing at that place later on in the summer I gotta, I gotta remember to tell that story when we're on stage about how you got kicked out for um <laughs> it's a bowl of questions it's sonic confessions <laughs>